So what are the seven things we need to learn and do before we turn 30? And if you're already 30, not a problem. Take this as a checklist. What is going on my friends? Sergio Saban here. And today I'm sharing with you seven things that I think we need to do and learn before we turn 30. And if you stay with me until the end of the video, I have a cool present for you that allows you to achieve the most important of these seven skills for free. But before we dive in, make sure you check out my most recommended way to make money online. You can find it in the description below. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel now and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I'm uploading a cool video like this. Number one is being visionary about the future. So accepting the past and living in the present is good, but if you haven't got a vision about the future, then it's a problem. And the reason for that is because it doesn't really matter your situation now. More important is where you are going because you can have an amazing life now. If you're taking a bad direction, then it's game over. Number two, taking risks. Some people will take risks since they're teenagers and some it will come a bit later in life. Now, one thing to consider here, you will always take risks more or less, but it's better and easy if you take them when you're in 20s. Because when you're 30, you have even more responsibility for people and life itself. Number three, taking care of your health. When we are in our 20s, we tend to think a lot about money and that's how some people will spend most of their time thinking about money and they totally forget the health aspect of the life because how you are taking care of yourself now is going to reflect later on. So if you know yourself for not eating healthy, put the burger down and start eating healthier, do some exercises and keep your mind positive. Number four, take responsibility. Everything happens because of you at this point. This is a tough one, but the truth is that everything that is happening to you now is a combination between your decisions, your faith and other things. Now you can't always control your faith, but what you can do is you can make sure you're taking the right decision and you're taking 100% responsibility for everything you do. Number five, being present. Being present is getting more difficult, but there are people who meditate and they do yoga in order to become present. Again, it's something that is best to start when you're 20 because you turn 30 and you might find it difficult to create new habits. So for improving your presence, I recommend reading Stella Adler, The Art of Acting. For those of you who don't know who Stella was, she was a professional actress and she taught famous actors how to act, such as Marlon Brazen, which he wrote the foreword for the book. Accept failure, know how to handle failure and treat everything as an experiment and a test. Do not take things as failure, just take them as a lesson in life. You can keep a diary where you can take notes, but when you feel like lost, a battle. All you need to do is accept it, think what you're going to do next rather than overthinking what already happened. And number seven is awareness. Now this is the most important skill from my point of view. Knowing what is happening around you and with you is crucial. And I can speak from all points of view. For example, are you aware of the things that is going on with your health right now? How about your financials? How about your friends? How about your family? And so on. The list goes on and on and on. So I have a special gift for you today. It's a book that I wrote and it focuses a lot on self-awareness. You can find it in the description at the free ebook section. 